I will say I'm 39, but I don't look your typical 39, so I'm proud of that. You look 39. I f man, don't disrespect me. Like I'm scared, so. <laughs> Men wealthier could affect you emotionally. I'm having power over you and truly appreciate the things that he did because you are the problem. One's given me something and asked for it back, and I'm like, you were so petty. I'm not gonna ask a woman out for what? So she could emasculate me. Men are not emasculating men by expecting them to be kind, respectful, and take no for an answer. Hey guys, welcome back to Motor Life. Now, before I get into this video, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Also, smash that notification bell just to be sure you get on my videos as soon as I release them. Let's get right into it. Name, age, and where you from? Oh, me? Yeah. I'm Shelly. A lady never tells her age, but I will say I'm 39, but I don't look your typical 39, so I'm proud of that. Shelly. Yes. You look 39. Emotional damage. It's okay. <laughs> oh man. You're the one swerving. I was just following you. Oh, uh. Yeah, it was actually. Oh, there's your pen. Okay. Why am I still sitting here? I just I explained it to you. You no, want to get loud? I'll get it. Yes, sir. Here, here, just back up, back up, back up. Go back to the house with you guys in a second, okay? Yeah. What's going on? I'm pregnant. Oh, Jesus. Oh, well. I'm pregnant. Can you please come to my window, please? Please, sir. Why is it always something with you, Allah? I don't Allah? know, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I'm not your bro. We've been I over apologize. this. I apologize. It's always something with you, Allah. Yeah, it can always be something. Can you turn your winter wiper off? No, you're fine. Can you stop? Get in the car, Allah. Yeah. Get in the right. car. Shut up and get in the car, Allah. Shut your door. Shut your car door. Is your car in park? Yes, it Can you just wait here for a minute? Oh, I'll come back and talk to you when you calm down. So who here is messing with Allah? You see my windshield? She broke that. She broke that. Why'd she do that? Uh, because she's she's delusional. She, she thought she think I was doing something with her. This is my cousin's girlfriend. He's Are you and Awa together? No, nah, she she pregnant. Okay. So she thought it was something else. She comes over, breaks her windshield. Those two rocks right there. Well, how would they end up back over there? Cause we took out the windshield. Uh, that's where the car was, and she was talking about kind of messed up again. So I had to pull it in the garage. Dude got cameras right here at the house. He said he is Yeah. I was about to go to jail. You've thrown hands? I have. In a relationship? I have. With a dude? He did it first. He oh he you threw hands first? No, I was He threw hands first. Yeah. Really? Self defense. Really? Yes. I f man. Don't disrespect me. Like don't talk to me like that. That was How did he why, talk to you like Why would you even say something? How do you like that? what was the he said? I don't know, it was a couple years ago, but I should... What do you mean it was a couple years ago? What do you what do you mean? <laughs> Years ago. What did what did he said? I don't know. It's just like we were like in a fat argument, like a fat argument. And it was there was like two group two groups. Yeah, it was, was some gang. <laughs> like you in a gang? Shit, did you gang somebody? No. Gang somebody? No. So what was said? I don't know. It was like group beef. We were all beef. Group beef. Yeah. You're just being you're, so unprecise. No, you're running me in circles. I don't remember what was said. It was years ago. I just remember. Yes, I have f out of a man because he disrespected me. I respect you. He sent him out of pocket. What was the out of pocket? I don't know. What, what was pocket, bro? <laughs> this right here is the craziest thing. Women just think they can put their hands on a man. You can't do that. You put your hands on certain men, and they'll clear your whole face. Look, women can't beat men. Stop putting your hands on men. No problem. No ah, problem. security. Ah, please. Ah. No Stop. Problem. Stop recording me. I'm scared. No problem. Stop recording me. I'm no scared. Problem. No problem. I'm scared. Stop. <laughs> no problem. Hello. <laughs> okay, good thing. <laughs> Now this right here, crazy. But you see what they're doing? They're giving the attitudes, and then they're wondering why this generation of men are done. Look at this girl; she's young. 
the other girl, young, talking about hitting men. She's in a store throwing tantrums. The other girl is outside of the cup car, just screaming, getting mad because the guy doesn't want to be her baby daddy. Uncontrollable. What's that? And this right here. The uncontrollable BBL. Your legs are skinny. At least get them to make your legs thicker, right? They had no fat in the legs. I don't know where she got that BBL at, but it's struggling. And BBL trees is right so for that. Man. The most attractive men you would ever see, I would turn them down immediately over like some like mid white boy. You've just made a categorization. So you said there's beautiful men and there's mid men. Why are you able to make a an objective determination about someone's physical appearance, but you can't do that to yourself? Um, I will always consider myself a 10. I always, I do what I want with the way I look. But how can, if it's- Bro, you can all you down be... these specifics. You want me to say I'm a, like a not? That's fine. Are you all right? Well, it's kind of like- It's not my fault. Oh, well, you're getting in a podcast to debate how I look and I've already said I no, don't no, care. No, 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 We've talked about how much longer you want to go on about it. I don't give a- f Call me an eight. I don't give a- f I don't People don't tell women the truth these days. But if I just happen to have the nerve to agree with the woman that says she's average, then I'm Satan. I think that's interesting. I already said that I think I'm a 10, and this discussion is really pointless. I get why these women do that, right? They create these high numbers to make themselves feel important. She knows nobody thinks she's a 10. She knows guys don't even think she's an 8. She knows nobody thinks she's a 5, and she's heard it. Guys have told her, a lot of men, humble women, especially like this, because she goes around delusional. Look, you know darn well you're not what you say you are. And guys are tired of it. This is why so many guys are giving up. Look at you. You're sitting there saying things you're not, and you think, and the reason why that's bad is because you think you deserve that. You turn down guys who are at your level because you think you deserve more. Crazy. I've actually been with a wealthy man. My ex-fiance was very wealthy, and it was not worth it. Worked what did out. he do? Usually men, wealthier, could affect you emotionally and financially of him having power over you. You were in a relationship with a man that was sacrificing his energy and his time to provide you a nice, comfortable life. And you didn't truly appreciate the things that he did because you are the problem within your own head. How that am I the I, issue? I got y'all, give it back to you. I'll hold let on, you speak. On, no, on, no, hold on, no, it's no, my no, podcast. I let you speak. No, I'll let talk. you rock and tell the whole story. You drove all the way out here from Massachusetts, so you're gonna get this work. So pay attention and listen. You just said that you were in a relationship with a man and he was paying all the bills, but you said it's a problem when you get with a man that's making more money than you. And we're asking you, what's that problem? Where did you get this independence that makes you think that you can't appreciate a man that's making a whole lot of money? Where you? It was socially constructed for you to have this mindset via the feminist movement. So you broke up with a dude for no reason. You that seem and to be really attacking her, but feminism has nothing to do with any of it. I just feel like, ugh. Women tend to like how things are said instead of what is said. I'm speaking the truth. So before you think something, you are influenced. Influence creates thinking, thinking creates behavior. Her, she was influenced via the feminist movement to think, I don't feel satisfied, I wanna be an independent person. So then her actions was to break up with him. Yes, he's right. He's right. And he's speaking with pure logic, which clearly you women don't have. Real talk. That's who's influencing all these women. And men are getting tired of it. I'm not a fake girl's girl like half of you girls here in Miami. Never. Okay. Like, One thing about me is never be fake. So. All right, baby. Okay. And that's right, what baby. I'm not. Are those breasts okay. real? No, they're not. Okay. What does that have to do with my personality? You just oh, said never be fake. But but much of we're talking about but my much of you is fake. <laughs> Yo, much, that's okay. the challenge. It's <laughs> like there's no reality. Sit down in a seat. I Let me explain this to you, okay? I paid for that seat. Oh, well, really? You paid for I that? I paid for that seat. That yeah, is with, my seat. With, with if you want money? the window... Is it stolen money that you paid for the seat? Ma'am, ma'am, you don't need to do all that. Ma'am, can you just show me the boarding pass, sir? And if you want, we can go ahead and upgrade you. Like, we can go ahead and give you a flight credit. I will what? show Are you... Are you kidding me right I will now? show you my boarding pass if you check everyone's boarding pass. 
in first class. So you're really going to do this? I mean, if you're going to make me show you, okay. then just to sit down, okay. then I want you to check. Because I don't know if she's seat swapping. Okay. How dare you? How dare you? No, that wasn't right what he did. But he should have asked that lady for, she should have asked the lady for a boarding pass first. To see, because she's not sitting in the right seat, I'm sure. But let's continue. Look at you. Oh no, this is my first time. Probably gonna be my last, especially with this airline. Yeah, it should be. It should you go, man. Because you don't. Do you know people? People take showers it before they me. actually get on. A okay, plane. so everyone, boarding pass checks out. Mm -hmm. okay. Except for her. Sam, do you have your boarding pass on your phone? Perfect. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So everybody is in the right seat, mm -hmm. sir. That's all I'm trying to do. I am trying to cause problems. I am not trying to say one thing or another. I'm just trying to do my job. You know yeah. what? You're a hooligan, well, and that's what you look I'm like. I'm a hooligan. Yeah, okay. and you need to resell from first ma class. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. not belong here. Ma'am, if you can't stop, we're going to have to remove you. Excuse me, how dare you? What I, is your name, I'm young lady? I'm just trying to do my job. What is your name, young lady? Ma'am, I'm trying to do my I job. I do want to know your name as well. Okay, because I'm I feel sorry. like you handled this situation very poorly. What would you prefer me to do, sir? I'd Just allow you... anyone to have a seat? No, I'd prefer you to allow me, who paid for this seat, to sit down in With whose money? Okay. Is this money okay. that, where did you You're get this money? You're more than welcome to sit this. I made the money, okay? Oh, I have a job. Oh, okay, I see. There's something called a job. Oh, oh, oh you, my God. If oh, you both oh, oh. aren't going to learn how to, like, cooperate, then unfortunately we will have to remove you both. Wow. That's crazy. And why would you be like that on a flight? The things some people do, but she was a Karen, though. She was a true Karen. And then the, the guys can weigh in after. Do you think mo women today, modern women today, are entitled? Yes. Why so? Because I feel like we talk about how like we're all queens and all this stuff, but we seek validation from men as opposed to seeking it from ourselves. We don't actually think we're queens unless we're shown it by men. Okay. So you think women are entitled because they want validation from men? Yes. Okay. What about you? Do you think go ahead, women are entitled? Yeah. Go ahead, queen. You got this. Yes. Think go, girl. Yes. yes. I do. To include yourself? <laughs> yes. Okay. What, what makes you feel entitled? Um, to men. To men? Yeah. Well, yeah, male attention, right? Saying goodnight or whatever. Well, see, I'm proud of that situation. But one thing, those women were older. Those women were probably the were more understanding. And those women are the type of women that end up in relationships. Those women are the type of women that end up married, but then 20 years later, 10 years later, five years later, and guys don't trust. This is what guys don't trust. You see how they were called you, nice, cooperative, but then it all changes. One little thing. And oh, that's exactly, I've seen it before. I probably shouldn't marry him because of that. That's what they did always. I saw it before. My friend told me I saw it before. She's right. It happens all the time. Actually, I think that's the next video. So I had a pretty big blowout with my husband this weekend, and I was talking to my best friend about it yesterday on the phone, and she's, like, been my best friend for 25 years, and she always gives it to me straight. And she told me, you know what? That's who you married. And when she said it at first, I got defensive, and I was like, no, that is not who I married. He was not like this when I married him. If he was like this when I married, when I met him, I never would have married him. But then I did a deep dive and a deep inventory on myself and I realized that I got so defensive because she was 100% right. Because all the indicators were there. But what I decided to do was to focus on being in love and thinking the best of someone and taking small gestures or small acts of kindness or love and just infusing that with this idea that, oh my God, this is such a sensitive, loving, caring, amazing man. I'll never meet another person like him. Like just really amped up this whole romantic idea and fantasy that this was the man that I was waiting for and I wasn't going to lose him. And even though there were some things that were happening that were telling me there might be an issue, I completely disregarded all of it because I just felt like, no, this is the love of my life. And I'm not going to deny myself the love of my life just because there's some issues here. Now I sit here 20 years later, 17 years married. And all of those little things that I saw that I decided to disregard and it wasn't important because we were in love, it's tearing, it's ter literally tearing us apart and tearing me apart.
it's so funny how I just made the conscious decision. You know, when I got married, I was 35 years old and I'm an adult person, an independent woman, smart. I wonder why they left. But I consciously made the decision to ignore my own voice, ignore my own instincts, ignore what I could see right in front of my face and completely go to love, completely go to the whole, this is the love of my life, the romance, the, all of that. That's where I wanted to put myself and decided I'm not going to be on planet Earth anymore, where I can think rationally, where I can be in reality, where I can make good decisions for myself, proper decisions for myself. I'd rather be in La La Land, La La Romance Land, where him and I are going to fall in love. All our problems are going to get solved by love, and we're going to be happily, living happily ever after. You know what's the wild thing? I, I see women talk sometimes, and I look at you, right? I look at, let's take a breakdown. Look at what happened to Cassie, right? And look at her. Do you think her husband is giving her mental issues cassie was sick in the head do you think he's doing what puff did to cassie i don't think so and you know what happened she'll be one of those videos <laughs> how did he move on so easy crying crying upset listen to what she said 17 years map and she's gonna throw it all away and realize this is my best friend or why is he moving along so easy I'll tell you why, because for men, it's a lot easier. Now, look at the proof is in lesbian relationships. You women hate each other more than men hate you. Men tolerate you. Men are the great equalizer. Women have to realize that. Men take your emotions. We calm ourselves down around your emotions. We, a lot of times we cater to your emotions. And this is how you act. Ladies, 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 you ruined it for yourselves. You Promise? really, really ruined it for yourselves. Guys aren't asking you out because they're waiting for you to ask them out. That's the majority of men these days. Mm. They're like, you know what? I'm not going to ask a woman out. For what? So she could emasculate me, make me feel like crap, call me a creeper, say that I'm creepy, say that I'm all up in her DMs and that I'm crushing on her and make me feel like crap just for showing her interest. What man is going to want to deal with that? Stop being so bitchy. Open your heart. Open your mind. Be kind. Even if you're going to reject somebody, do it in a gracious way. It really grinds my gears when I hear a woman regurgitating fragile masculinity, but I digress. I find it so funny when people act like women are out here just verbally assaulting any man that dares to look in their direction when most women are afraid to reject the men that make them uncomfortable. But what I really find amazing is that these people can't tell the difference between a compliment and harassment because there's a huge difference between initiating a conversation and being a creep. All right, I gotta stop right there. I gotta stop right there because she's gonna go on for five minutes doing that. Now, from the last explanation I gave, right, about lesbian relationships. So if women are leaving women more than guys are leaving women, right? And they're causing the, the, the divorces, women start all divorces. So take the numbers out of that for a minute, right? Actually put the numbers in as far as relationships. Now take her. Who would you side with more? Who's giving the most logical reason why something is happening? Do you think a man or a woman? A man, of course. So now take her doing the same thing this woman is explaining. She's doing the same thing this woman is explaining. That woman was right. But for her to defend it, she to defend the sisterhood so bad that she will go to war for no reason. Let me let her finish. I'm going to let her finish a little more so you guys can hear how she's doing it. And then I'm going to end it. Women are not emasculating men by expecting them to be kind, respectful, and take no for an answer. It's delusional. And if you think otherwise, then you need to seriously re-examine what masculinity means to you. She's acting like we just won't give any of these good guys a chance, but we don't have to. Because if you refuse to take no for an answer the first time, then we already learned all we need to know about that. So that's it right there. She's acting like we won't give these guys a good chance, 
but we don't have to because we're all chasing around Chad. That I'll finish it off for you. You're all chasing around Chad, and you're wondering why he won't marry you. That's what's happening. And that's why me and Zemin are done. And that's why those numbers are going to keep growing. Seriously. This is the issue. This woman is explaining. She tries to champion for guys a little bit. I know her. She's a dating coach. She talked to, even talked about passport bros before and tried to tell passport bros to get with other women. They probably won't when they can just go overseas, but I give that girl credit, that lady credit. She gets credit for what she did. She's trying, but you, you're way done. You're, you're, you're the reason why guys are leaving because a woman like this. You're defending, you're trying to defend the sisterhood when it shouldn't be defended. It's crazy. Whether it's a ring, a car, an apartment, a purse, any gift giving is a gift giving. You're not going to take gifts back. When you do that, you look hurt. Here comes the sign language. The Puerto Rican princess is trying to guilt men into being accepting of letting her keep things after she breaks up with him. She's going to go into this whole shaming you or insulting you, making you look like you're less of a man, and then guilting you into allowing her to keep the stuff. This is one of the women who believe that if a man gives her an engagement ring, she thinks that she's entitled to keep it even if the engagement is called off. And we all know that an engagement ring is not a gift. When a man gives that to a woman, it comes with conditions and you have to get married in order to keep it. If the engagement is called off, then the ring is supposed to come off of your finger and you're supposed to give it back to the man. Men, however, a lot of them, they get played like this. They'll go spend three months of their income on this engagement ring. One, he's proposing to the wrong person anyways. It doesn't work out. And not only does she not give it back or offer it back to him, but he's too shame to ask for his ring back because he doesn't doesn't want to look like less of a man in front of a person who is unworthy to begin with. But okay, carry on. You look so hurt and petty. I've been there. I've definitely been there when someone's given me something and asked for it back. And I'm like, you were so petty. So poor. That is not a man. How does that make you a man? Giving me something and trying to take it back from me? If you are investing in me and getting me a car or putting me in an apartment, I have children. I'm going to make sure as a woman that I'm telling you right then and there, if we break up, I'm still keeping that. You're not going to take me out of a car. You're not going to take me out of an apartment. What type of man is that? I'm sorry. That is uncalled for, and I don't believe in those type of things. No wonder you're single. What kind of man is that, she asks? Well, he's a simp anyway, because the first rule is you have kids by other men. What man in the first place? will be so thirsty that he will provide a car and roof over your head and some kids that don't belong to him. Yes, and also on top of that, that woman is way overweight. <laughs> I gotta give her real. She's like the Goodyear blimp. Like no guy, and she's older, is getting with an older, overweight woman and doing that. The jig is up. Why would they? doesn't make any sense. That's like against all rules right there. Like, you see, you, you guys saw her. Shraggy? I gotta say the Shraggy? Like, a guy's not, huh? It's going crazy. I just turned down a first date I had said yes to. I like that he had made solid plans, but here's the deal breaker. I asked if he was going to send a car for me, and he responded with, do you really need that? I mean, technically no one needs anything, but yes, that's what I want. He said that he's never had a girl ask, which is fair, but ladies, we need to step our game up. Following that, I nicely declined the date, thanked him for planning, then told him we can stay friends. You might think I'm crazy for that, but after going on multiple dates this past year, I realized there are very specific things I need and want. How someone approaches something goes to show their values. If you're not aligned, you'll have bigger issues down the road. And then you'll be stuck convincing someone to change. Or even worse, having to beg for certain things. I've done all the above and never again. When feelings get involved, it's much harder to let go that you end up settling. So remember, if you're not asking for too much, you're asking the wrong person. That sounds like being single. Yeah. <laughs> Man, all we can do is laugh. Send you an Uber? So she decided to go eat with her little sister. <laughs> keep keep eating with your little sister. Have fun. 
We need to stop normalizing women getting an education. Education is literally ruining our sisters. Most of them don't even know how to run a household. Most of them aren't marriage material. Men like this like to say, oh, we need to stop making sure that women can go to school, that they get an education, they should be homemakers, nothing else. While completely ignoring that there is already a country where that is the case. And I should know because that is where I am ethnically from. Interestingly enough, the women there are not very happy about their education being taken away. They don't feel fulfilled in their feminine role. All right, all right. She's about to go on talking. All right, I get what she's trying to say. The guy... I mean, the way it is, it's probably better, right? Like, see, in America, we don't force women to go along with the way that we want them to. If we could, oh, man, we all be golden, right? That would actually be better for them, but we can't do that. So, but we, it's the ex exact opposite of how it is over there. Now, if a guy, because I say, look, over here, right? All these women are going to college, they're not getting the right degrees. So they're coming out and not finding jobs. Like, why would you not search what's the thing people are hiring for the most and go to college for that? It's common sense. So they're wasting money at school and then they're going and gathering up all those bills. They're garnering a lot of bills and then want, um, want to marry a man and pl place it on him. That's why they want a man that's high value. Like, it's a sickness. It's truly a sickness. Some of what those guys have done has kept the sickness out of there, but it's created another sickness. But there's no way to control the situation if, you, if you're not like that. It's, it's wild. I'm not all for that, but I understand it. I get it. I truly understand it. And... I hate to say it, but women probably shouldn't have as much choice. Because with too much choice, the confederation where it got us now. In a dumpster. I'm not dealing with no man who thinking that I'm supposed to be pressed about him. These really be thinking that they supposed to be the real in the situation. They really be expecting for you to be the one to hit them up first every single day. <laughs> God. Then be having the audacity to fix their mouth to say some stupid I mean. If you ain't gonna hit me up, I guess we ain't gonna talk then. <laughs> hey, oh my god. You are the one that's supposed to be pursuing me. Not gonna happen. No, not gonna happen. <laughs> Why do you think that I'm supposed to be pursuing you? I was really be expecting for you to be blowing them up like they somebody and you need them. <laughs> hey, oh my god. I am not desperate. We don't gotta talk at all, boo, because I choose to refuse to be pressed about a mother. I'm not listening. Thank you. I'm not listening. This one. She got issues. <laughs> she, man, that girl, she got extra personalities in there. She wants some Nicki Minaj stuff. Ah, contacting Roman. <laughs> she, she turned into Roman right there. Roman's revenge, right? Was her. A little pink flag. Yeah, I'm in that Tonka color with Willy Wonka. You could be the king. Maybe she needs to take a little bit since she want to be like Nicki Minaj, right? She needs to take care of a guy like Nicki Minaj is doing. At least she got a man. She's taking care of her man. She went the wrong way by getting she she got a pookie, but at least she's taking care of him, right? But I gotta say this: most women are being like this now, being ridiculous. Guys are not dumb. Guys are very smart, and guys have realized it's definitely more to life than getting a woman like this. I am leaving and I am never coming back. 